there was so many options of how to move forward. And, you know, it was either try to find ways to, you know, make a bit more money doing what I'm doing or potentially start to cut out things. And uh, unfortunately, the YouTube tutorials was one of the things I was considering. Hey everyone, it's Nadia from Leah Dia Designs. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. This is my studio. This is my face. <laughs> I don't normally record uh, my face, but there's going to be some changes. So I figured let's talk about it. Um, so those of you who have been following me for a while know that I've been kind of MIA for a couple months. And um, oh, first of all, before I keep going, my I got a bit of a sore throat, so I'm going to be sounding a bit scratchy today. I do have my tea here so hopefully that'll help us get through it um, but yeah I just wanted to kind of discuss with you guys where I've been what's been happening and um, yeah it's it's been an interesting couple months so let's discuss long story short um, I burnt out and uh, it's I was feeling it coming for a long time uh, if those of you who've been following me for a long time know that I started this whole resin thing about three years ago and uh, yeah it's just it was great like it was really just something that I was doing on the side so for those of you who don't know already I am a graphic designer by profession that is my day job that is what I do for work and I have I'm married I have three kids uh, who all you know underage still live at home and we had we just got two puppies and my husband and I have our business so there's a lot going on um, just in my normal day-to-day -day life but um, it was just one of those things where after I had my kids and they were starting to become a little bit more independent I was thinking you know I wanted to get back into painting and stuff which was like my absolute first love and um, yeah so the only time <laughs> for those busy moms out there or if just people in general who are super busy you guys know that the only time a lot of us have for that kind of stuff is at night after everyone's gone to bed so that's what I did I started painting at night and I found resin actually through Instagram I saw other people kind of doing things with resin I thought oh, that was kind of neat and I love love as you guys probably have realized by now I love trying new mediums like I love just experimenting and things so um, finding resin was just such a new thing for me and I just kind of dove right in and basically I would you know just paint at night after the kids went to bed that was like you know 10 o'clock or so by the time I settled into the studio and uh, just you know painted until sometimes three o'clock in the morning and then I'm back up at seven so I'm, literally I was getting three to four hours sleep most nights um, almost every night really um, for about three years <laughs> and in the midst of in the midst of all that um, I you know was posting Instagram because I wanted to kind of share what I've been working on and things like that and within you know about a year my Instagram really started picking up because a lot of people I was getting a lot of followers and people really wanted to know um, what I was doing because I was incorporating painting with resin which was something that a lot of people were doing back then so I was getting a lot of requests for tutorials and I was getting a lot of requests for just you know teaching and stuff like that like teaching my ways <laughs> but um, yeah so then I started to create the tutorials on YouTube and then that was just another layer of things that um, I was creating and I found out that I really enjoy teaching and sharing you know it was something I wasn't really sure I was gonna love but I actually really do enjoy it and um, so yeah so that kind of took off as well and it's just been busy so like I said so three to four years sorry three years of three to four hours sleep at night is not a good thing so <laughs> which I'm sure all of you are probably screaming at me saying oh my gosh you should sleep and yeah I needed to start sleeping and uh, my basically I felt it probably since about three quarters of the way through last year that I was just I was I just couldn't do it anymore I had to find a way to you know take a break slow down something so so yeah <laughs> that's 
what had to happen. So that brings us to December, um, this past December. And what I ended up deciding to do is just completely take a break, just stop completely. And um, I took the holidays off with my kids and we just kind of hung out and I literally just didn't do anything. I didn't post Instagram. I didn't post a, well, any of my socials really. Um, and I didn't even come to the studio because I just couldn't. It, it felt like my body was just in some kind of weird like reflex rebellion or something where I just couldn't think about it. I couldn't do it. I just, there was, it just completely shut off from all of it. And I didn't know what to do because that was really scary because art's been my life, my entire life. So I was having all these great ideas of things I wanted to do, but I, my body was, my mind and my body was just like, nope, um, you can't right now. You just have to take a break. And so it was weird. It was really, really weird. But, um, and then I figured, okay, I'll take a couple weeks by January. I should be good again, right? Like, you know, got a little bit of a break. But it turned out January came around and I did go back to like my regular job, doing my day job type of thing. But I was still not feeling like I could get back into the social media thing. So I was just like, okay, well, is it the art or is it the social media thing? And I was feeling like I really did want to get back into my studio to start working again. But um, I just didn't want to record. I didn't want to record. I didn't want to like just I just wanted to paint I didn't want to think about anything else so I did that and it's weird because it's the first time in my life that I've actually not pressured myself to just get through it <laughs> you know like I'm Gen X so we're the generation that just kind of like puts her head down and just it doesn't matter if we like it it doesn't matter if it's you know repressing a bunch of other emotions like we just do it so um but I allowed myself to to not do that this time because I'm like if I don't want to record I'm just gonna not and then we're gonna see where that ends up so I did that and uh oh my god it's a lot of talking <laughs> but uh, uh yeah so um yeah so I ended up just painting and decided to experiment with just new things, just some ideas I had kicking around in my head and just to see where that takes me. And um, I, it was so great. <laughs> it was so much fun. Like it was just, I enjoyed, you know, painting again and I enjoyed just the process and not having, I mean, any of you who have, who have recorded your art, even for Instagram or for any of the socials, you know, you'll know that, you know, it's a whole different set of your brain that has to work because you're focused on the art, but your brain has to literally stop during that kind of artistic flow to be like, oh, let me change the camera angle so that I can get this view. Let me change this. Let me change that. And that's why a lot of my original videos are just overhead. Like they're not me trying to switch camera angles because it's just a lot. But over time, I was starting to do that a little bit more too because I was like, oh, you know, I gotta, I gotta make my, my videos a bit more interesting. And so it just disrupts that whole artistic flow. And I think that was the part of it too. That was kind of like, oh. So it was really nice just to create and not have that happen. Um, so yeah, so while I was doing, while I was going through that whole process of just getting back into painting and experimenting and trying completely new things, I, um, just felt like my mind just kind of decluttered and it just allowed me to think more a little bit more clearly about what it is I want to do and how I want to move forward and you know, if I want to move forward and yeah that was um it was great <laughs> it was great to kind of have that clarity and so that brings me to kind of a few realizations so one which obviously you guys know I love art love 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 art like I still it's my whole entire life and it's been my whole entire life so I'm not concerned about oh am I tired of doing this no never like it's not happening like it just reinforced the fact that I love this so much and um then um I did realize you know after taking the break that I do actually enjoy um sharing my art and teaching uh you know making the tutorials or teaching and things like that you know as much as i'm not a huge fan of 
um, recording, I do enjoy the results of the recordings. Like I do enjoy having a documentation of something I've created and seeing the process and sharing that process and having you guys get super excited about the process. And you know, oh, I really want to try that, or I've never seen that before, or oh my gosh, I mean, I had so many people. <laughs> my new piece, so I'll show it to you. So my new pieces that are here. Um, you know, I got so many comments. This is my cat. And actually, I have another one. I'll give you guys a quick sneak peek. Check it out. <laughs> it's so awesome. I love it so much. Um, so yeah, so. I had so many people when I posted the yellow cat, um, the golden cat, that, um, oh my gosh, you know, you're taking it to the next level again. Like, we didn't know you could do that. And, like, that kind of stuff, like, I love it because I like pushing myself and I like pushing to see what else we can do. Um, and so, yeah, it's just, I love that. I love sharing with you guys and I love hearing your success stories and I love that you guys you know, share that with me and say, oh, you know, tag me on videos and say, hey, check out what I did with your technique. And I just, I love all that. Like, I just, I realize I do enjoy it. I did find it uh, overwhelming. And I don't think it's the recording necessarily that's overwhelming. I think it's the social media. It, it's hard. Like, it's hard to keep up with. It's hard to do all the things. And I know all of you out there who are doing the same are, you know, you hear from it from other creators because it is, it's legitimately a difficult thing to balance all the things. And this is just me. Like I am literally doing everything for my business. Like I do the paintings and I do the recordings and I do the social media and I do the shipping and I do like literally everything that's involved with my Leah Dia art business is me. I do it all. And I, I like it that way, at least to start. I mean, hopefully at some point, maybe that changes, I get a little bit of help, but for now that's what it is. And so for me to be able to balance it all, I had to make some decisions. Decision number one was that I really do think that, um, again, because right now it feels like this is, you know, jobs for multiple people, um, I do want to streamline what I'm doing or simplify what I'm doing. And part of that is I would love it if this would end up becoming my full-time job someday. Um, you know, creating my art, creating the videos, doing all these things. I think that it is such a fun thing for me as long as I'm not having to worry about, you know, the million other things, you know, for my other job that I have to do. So right now the balance is majority of my day is spent doing my day job and then part, you know, I am trying to get more sleep. <laughs> I've prioritized that. So, a, you know, a smaller portion of my day is going towards my art. And um, I would love to flip that. I would love it so that a bigger part of my day is, you know, my art. And then a smaller part of my day is my business. So I just think that, you know, where my heart is kind of going right now, that's where I'm heading. And if I'm able to do that, then it lets me focus on the art, focus on creating videos for you guys and things like that. So, and you know, obviously all the other things I have to do. So I'm hoping to do that. Now, one way of doing that is I've decided to switch from uh, smaller creations to larger creations. So this way I'm creating, you know, wall art or just larger pieces in general. So this way it has a bigger impact. And if I spend, um, a, you know, a lengthier amount of time, it's okay because, you know, the value of the pieces I'm creating is more. And um, it just seems to balance better for my time if I do that because I found when I was just doing a lot of the smaller pieces, it was great because it was like, you know, a lot of turnover. I was, you know, getting a lot of sales that were kind of like, you know, smaller, but um, it was just, it was keeping me so busy at night that I literally wasn't sleeping. <laughs> Whereas with these larger pieces, like I said, I have the cats that I'm working on right now. Um, it just, it allows me to spend a bit more time on each piece and I don't feel like I'm having to, you know, rush myself with it. So I'm, I'm not sure if that makes sense to you guys, but that's where at least where I think I want to head as move towards larger pieces. And then in that same vein of moving into larger pieces, things like wall art and paintings is that 
I'm going to be move also adding in um, principles to my line of offerings on my website. So for example, we have our lovely cat here. And uh, so we, this is obviously the original art and this is, this one's already purchased. It was a commission. So this one's going to be sold. But what I want to be able to do is take photos, you know, of these pieces and then offer them as prints. So this way, you know, for those of those who can't necessarily afford the original, now they can purchase a print if they like. So, and it could be on multiple different things. I haven't completely decided all the different things I'm going to do it yet, but I know for sure it's going to be obviously like prints for your wall, but then maybe phone cases, I don't know, like mugs, water bottles, I don't know. We'll see what we can find. But uh, so that's one thing I'm going to be doing is offering more variety of things because not everybody even needs wall art. Some people just want to buy something small, but the time it would take me to recreate it in a smaller version or in whatever, like, and that what was happening with a lot of the other pieces is like, oh, I really like this design as a coaster, but can I have it as a tray? But the time it takes me to now to make that design into a tray, it ends up costing a lot. Whereas I'm hoping that by doing printables, people can kind of, you know, get a variety of things that they may like the design on. So that's, <laughs> that's where I'm thinking. I'm thinking that it's a whole new thing for me. I'm not used to this whole printable idea, but um, I'm looking into it and I'm hoping to launch it really soon. Uh, once I have a few more paintings ready to go. So, so that's happening. And the last thing that I want to talk to you guys, which obviously, you know, affects probably most of you watching this video is that um, I'm starting up, I'm relaunching my Patreon and I am also um, launching something new on YouTube, which is memberships. Um, that wasn't available when I first started um, on YouTube. So now it is, and it's just, it's gonna allow me to, so the way that's gonna work, the, from what I can, it's already been set up. I don't know, sure by the time this video is launched, if it's our, if all the buttons and things are gonna be set up on the YouTube video, um, I think under the video somewhere, but, um, but the Patreon's already set up. So what I have planned for this going forward is that um, I'm still going to be putting out public videos and all the tutorials that already exist still are going to stay there. I'm not removing any videos that exist. Everything is staying as is. It's only going to affect um, videos going forward. So the um, so what I'm going to be doing is videos the videos I'm creating are gonna be pro more of like the musical process videos. And you guys have seen some of those because I've kind of been putting a few of those out there before the holidays to kind of test how that was working. And a lot of you seem to like it. Um, not everyone from, at least from what I can tell in the comments, really cares for the voiceovers or the full tutorials within the vi video. A lot of people just wanna watch. And I think what I wanna do is make it so those who just want to watch and they don't really care about the tutorials, they can get the public viewing of it where it's just the process and it's not, um, you know, there's no, no additional information that they don't need because they're just watching it literally for the entertainment value of, oh, watch this person's painting. So I'm going to be doing that. But people who decide that they want to, they want more, they want more information, they want to know the supplies, they do, even if they have questions, um, and they just basically want more of me, <laughs> um, are going to have memberships. Um, and I've tried to price them very reasonable so that it's not going to break the bank for anybody, but, um, and there's different tiers. So there's three different tiers for each. Um, you'll find that the YouTube pricing is a little bit higher than the Patreon pricing. And that's only because YouTube, um, takes a bigger cut and I think they have different offerings that they themselves offer members compared to people on Patreon. So you can visit both and you know if you're interested decide if you want to join either one. So there's kind of a base a tier. There's three tiers. So there's a base tier if you just want to support the channel which I truly appreciate you know all of you for that. And then there's a second tier which is going to um, have the first tier is going to have some benefits too, like the I think I'm going to be posting some kind of bonus videos and things for people. Basically, every member who joins will get access to things like bonus videos that I'm going to be putting up. And then uh, the second tier are the people who really want to know more about the 
you know, or basically get the tutorial or get more in, in information. So what my plan is, and I'm really hoping this works, is I want to do member live streams. So you get to see my face more often, which I don't really want to do, but I do want to be there for you guys and be on the lives. So what I want to do is I think I'm going to do live streams where I'm running the tutorial that I made or the video that I made and I'm explaining it. I'm talking about it. I can show you the products that I'm working with. Um, and then be, being live stream, you guys could also ask questions in the live. So this way, you know, hopefully if I, you know, I can look at the questions and answer them right away. So this way you guys are getting answers about, you know, specifically about the techniques that I'm working on. So in each of the pieces. So I'm hoping to do that for each of the pieces, or at least if I, you know, at least I'm hoping, you know, once, twice a month, it might be more, really depends on how easy I find this live streaming thing. But um, I'm hoping that, you know, like at least a couple times a month, I'm able to get on there, we can talk about the videos that have been posted. So we can really go through and get all that information for you guys. So um, and then there, like I said, there's going to be bonus videos. I'm hoping to do like product reviews. You know, if you guys have questions about certain products, I can test them or review them for you guys. If you guys have other questions just in general about, you know, the pieces that I'm making, the techniques that I'm working on, um, it gives you guys an opportunity to, you know, to talk to me during those, <laughs> those live streams. So I'm thinking that, um, so that's going to be tier two. Tier three is just more for those. And I had this before when I had my Patreon, it's called the mentorship. And the mentorship is really just for those who really want a little bit more in depth information. That's not necessarily just technique related. It's for those who maybe want more information on how I grew on Instagram or um, how to kind of run your business. Or if you have questions specifically about um, art businesses or just, you know, how things are changing in social media. How do you, how are we coping? Like, you know, business ideas or business just discussions, I guess. So it can be obviously about the art, but it could also be, it's kind of like art plus, you know, like, you know, um, oh, and I want to mention as well that I am still doing resin, but now I'm going to be treating resin as another medium. So um, I may not always be using resin in my pieces. I'm going to be exploring some other things as well. So um, other mediums, other techniques, or even just how to utilize, you know, combine them and utilize them. Um, when resin is necessary or I feel it's necessary, I will be incorporating it, but not everything, potentially not everything moving, <clears throat> but potentially not everything moving forward is going to have resin like automatically because I know that the channel has been 100% resin channel up until now but as I move towards just creating art I want to um, explore again get back to that so resin will be in the arsenal of things but not necessarily the main focus all the time anymore so um, so yeah so tier three is for those who just want you know a little bit more and those will probably be smaller potentially zoom meetings or smaller streams um, depending on how many people decide to join so and if there's a lot we'll try to you know group them into smaller groups so this way you feel like you're getting the attention that you need for those so those are the um those that's the memberships so i'm hoping to i mean i'm not sure if i'm going to be doing public live streams yet we're probably going to see how things go and move in that direction eventually for certain things but i can't guarantee for sure that i'm going to do public live streams so for now we're going to start here and see how things grow and like i said i'm hoping at some point that this can become a full-time thing and if that happens then my days just open up <laughs> all together for um you know helping you guys with this type of stuff so and for those of you who just love to watch, like I said, um, you're welcome to join the memberships. You're welcome to be part of the conversations if you want to be. Um, but for those who just want to watch and they don't really care about learning about the techniques because it's just more of, you know, something you find satisfying to watch, 100% you have the, the public videos to watch. So the, I'm not trying to, um, the word I guess is gatekeep um, everything. It's just more of I need to find ways to make this um, you know a more viable business for me because i am putting so much of my time into 
not just creating, you know, the art, but then, you know, like I said, to record and to teach and to do all the things that, um, that I want to do for you guys. Um, uh, it's just, it's been, it's been a lot. <laughs> so, you know, it's, I just, I can't put myself back in that position of burning myself out again. I mean, I've done it my whole life. I've always kind of worked myself where it's like burning the candle on both ends. Like I've, I've always been that person. Um, but Hey, I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> so I can't, you know, even when he's telling me, I can't do that anymore. I have to, uh, prioritize my sleep and, you know, just try to simplify my life a little bit. And this is hopefully, um, the way that I can get there. Yeah. So during that time, it was, um, really important for me. Like there was so many options of how to move forward and, you know, it was either try to find ways to, you know, make a bit more money doing what I'm doing or potentially start to cut out things. And, uh, unfortunately the YouTube tutorials was one of the things I was considering. It wasn't decided, but it was con something I was considering. Like, do I, is that the thing that needs to be cut so that I can have a bit more time? And, um, because editing, like, I mean, recording and everything is one thing. Editing, is a whole another is a whole other job again on top of everything else so it takes so many hours for me to you know do the edits and things so it's i just needed to kind of find ways to streamline and um, unfortunately that was one of the things and you know slowing down on social media for me is something i didn't mind doing if that was the decision to do that but the cutting out youtube videos wasn't really something i wanted to do and i'm glad that um we're not going to do that or at least I'm hoping I don't have to do that. So I'm hoping you guys can help me out. <laughs> um, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's hard because I'm not used to, you know, I don't, I barely like to, I barely like to ask for subscribes. <laughs> Honestly, guys, like I don't, I'm not the kind of person who asks for help or asks for, you know, support in things. Like, it's just not something that I do. I'm a really independent person. I'm really private. I don't like discussing these type of things at all. Like this whole video, I've probably fidgeted the whole way through, but um, it's because it's, it's uncomfortable. Like it's an uncomfortable feeling, but for me to be able to push forward and, you know, keep creating the things that you guys want to see, this is the only way that I will be able to do it. So I'm hoping you know, that you guys feel that it's worth keeping, it's worth doing. I mean, if I, if not, then, you know, you guys will let me know. <laughs> so um, let me know in the comments um, what you guys think about this. I know not everyone's going to be happy about it. And I'm sorry for that. Um, like I said, I'm not removing any of the tutorials that already exist on my channel. So for those of you who, you know, just want to you know, review through those and see those. I mean, I'm happy about that too. Um, those are going to be there for you guys, no matter what. Um, but those of you who feel that you can, you know, support my little, you know, venture here, I um, would truly, truly appreciate it. It would be <laughs> everything. So, <sighs> can't have a video like this without getting emotional, right? <laughs> Anyways, guys, so that's it. Let's take one more quick look at our cats. Got one. And you guys saw back here, you can see, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll show you guys really quick since they're kind of in the background. So this is what kind of started. This is the, the pieces I created when I started this new journey. So these are, um, there was an owl too, but it sold this. This is our dragonfly and our lotus flower. So this series, and there's another one there called the turtle. And um, these are my under the surface series. And that's something I'm going to try to be doing more of too, is creating a series of art. Um, it's kind of a theme for a little while for each piece. So my under the surface ones were about, you know, revealing what's underneath. And I just think it's so timely because that's what I'm trying to do too. <laughs> like it's just, I'm speaking through my art, you know, without even realizing it because I didn't really expect to create this series in January, but that's just what came out of me. So, um, so I chose these symbols because they all represent um, something that, you know, 
may be true to in certain individuals or true to some of us. And it, you know, I used, you know, this kind of design to, you know, show the breaking through. It's like breaking through that hard exterior to show what's below, what's beneath. And I, I wanted to make the uh, elements shiny and holographic and rainbowy to kind of just emphasize how it's beautiful and it's shining and glowing and it needs to come out for people to see it. So that's the series and um, this is what started um, this whole new journey for me this January. And then those have now graduated into my, you know, the holographic Geo series. So we have our cats and again, we're keeping with symbols that are um, representative to individuals. So I have this cat, which I created. I really want to try it in golds and blacks because I don't usually work in golds and blacks, but I love how this turned out. And then this one here is the purple. Now again, this was a commission and I absolutely adore this. Like it's so amazing. <laughs> I love the purples and the blues and everything that's happening here. So um, it's just, it's so pretty. And I have a whole bunch more that I'm creating. Um, I have some amazing collectors who um, messaged me when they saw these new ones come out and they're like, oh, we want to get this, you know, representatives of people in their family. So some of the animals represent, you know, either something that means something to them or it's um, significant to, you know, their family members. So um, yeah, so a lot of exciting pieces are coming out. I can't wait to show them with you guys. Again, they are taking longer because these pieces are more in depth. There's a lot more involved with them. In any case, like I said, I will still be doing some small pieces here and then I'm sure as I have ideas, <laughs> I'm sure I will be, you know, hey guys, check out this really cool little thing I made. So there's gonna be a mix and match of things, but like I said, my focus is hopefully gonna be on larger pieces. So, um, and of course, you know, I'll, in the links, I'll put the Patreon, the if there's a link or membership, I don't know, I'll put that in there if there is. Um, my website, if you guys wanna check out some of the stuff that I'm creating, um, or just more information on the new line, the new series that's out. Um, yeah. All right, let's end this babbling. <laughs> but anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much. Again, all of you who um, who were trying to find me, you know, over the last couple of months, thank you guys for checking in on me. Honestly, you're my heroes. Like it's just, you know, it was so encouraging to know that I was being missed and you guys wanted me back and you were worried that something was going on in my life. And there was, but nothing terrible, just needed to do a little bit of soul searching. So thank you guys so much and I will hopefully see you soon. Take care. Bye.